Hi everybody! In this video, I'll show you how to set up your home page in Canvas. Let's first start by changing the modules as the course entry point, the course home page, to instead using a pages front page. That's going to allow us some space to really customize this um, home page. So to do that, I'm going to come over to the Choose Home Page button, and I want to choose Pages Front Page. It won't let me do that yet, though. What I have to do first is set my front page. So click on the link that says Front Page Must Be Set First, and it takes us to the Pages tool where we can add a new page. So let's click on Add One. We'll call this Home. And in here, we'll just set up some, um, we'll say, let's just say under construction for now, because we're not quite there for adding content to this. So I'm going to hit Save and Publish. In order to set this as my front page, it's going to have to be published. So you can see it's published with the green box at the top. In my little three-dot menu, I'm going to say Use as Front Page. Now I go to the home page, and when I come over to choose home page now, it does let me choose pages front page and save. So that's the first series of steps. Feel free to go back in the video and watch those again. That's the first series of steps for changing your Canvas shell to use a pages front page instead of the Canvas modules tool. This is a good time to pause this video go to your development shell in Canvas and follow the steps that I just showed you to change your home page to use Pages front page instead of the Canvas modules tool. Then come back to this video and hit play when you're ready to continue watching. A good home page is welcoming, clearly tells students how to get started, and doesn't bog them down with too much information that could overwhelm them along the way. So let's look at a simple home page design that accomplishes those things. I've already changed the home page to use Pages front page instead of the Canvas modules tool. So go back to the beginning of the video where I showed you how to do that. Now it's time to develop this home page. So I'm going to hit edit in the top right corner of this page. And I have already figured out the pieces of this uh, page that I want to include for my students. So I'm going to start with a welcome section where I just put a nice welcome message for me and then I'm going to have um, some text. We'll keep that as under construction for now. And then I'm going to say a little bit about myself and then I'm going to say um, I'm going to share with them some ways that we can communicate and then I'm going to share with them how to get started. Okay, so it's so tempting to then start highlighting these headings and bolding and choosing what size we want them to be and then adding colors and making them all beautiful and this is just like the fun part of personalizing this page. The problem with this is that this is not accessible. So students who are using screen readers are just going to get that this is just regular text and there will be no structure to this text, no way for students to quickly navigate through the headings of text. So instead of doing it that way, the accessible way is to use our styles. And what I mean by that is to use this drop down list. And because this is the first header of my page, it's actually header two. Header one is the title, right? So think about a structure to the information that we're providing. All of this is found on header one, our title, and then welcome is going to be header two. Nice to meet you is also going to be header two. Each one of these is a header two, and if they had subheadings, I could use the header three and four inside of those. Let me use this to expand my space a little bit. Under here, I'm also going to have under construction. So that's a very basic structure, and I'll show you how to flesh that out. For now, I'm going to hit Save so that I get to save those changes and take a look at it on the home page of my course. I'm going to click back to Home, where I should see that same um, content, and that's coming along really nicely. Then I'll show you how to kind of flesh this out um, with the pieces inside of each inside each of those sections. This is a good time to pause this video. Go to your under construction homepage and think about the headings that you want to include for your students. 
They may be similar to these, but they may be entirely different. So pause this video and take some time to think about which headings to use for your course. Feel free to copy these if you like them, or come up with your own that reflect you, your students, and your discipline. Pause the video and then restart when you're ready to see me continue developing my own homepage. Okay, so let's flesh this out. We'll start with our welcome. I'm going to hit edit. And here's where you actually get to say, welcome to Build With Mesa Buddies, right? You want to intentionally welcome students to this space. And give me a second while I finish writing this out. Okay, so be sure to use we and you and um, us um, as this is a um, informal welcome to the course and not something that's, um, you know, catalog jargon or academic um, language that's going to be difficult for students to understand. So make that a very student-friendly welcoming message, right? Nice to meet you is where I'm putting a quick little bio about myself so that they right away know that there's a human who's teaching this course and it's not going to be taught by a computer. Um, so let me type in my information here. So that's just a short little intro to myself. Um, perhaps in the orientation module, there's a more, um, there's a longer introduction and or um, intro video that I share with my students. But for here, I can just keep it really short and sweet. For want to connect, here's where I wanna add um, a list of, thing, of ways that my students can connect with me. So there are several ways that we can connect during our course. And this is going to be discussion, Q&A, right, Canvas, Inbox. Um, they can email me at kpalacio and they can meet in my Zoom room. And this is Tuesday, Thursday, 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Pacific. Okay, so those are really, that's really a list. I want that to stand out as a list. There are different options for students to connecting with, for students to connect with me. And the way that I get that formatted like a list is to highlight each of those. And then at the top, use the bulleted list if the order doesn't matter. And if the order does matter, then you want to use a numbered list. So in my case, I'll do bulleted list and see how it pulls those together nicely and displays it in a way that kind of sets them all in an equal structure. So several ways that we can connect during the course. Now I want to make my meet in my Zoom room a hyperlink that takes them to my Zoom room. So I opened up Zoom, I have my profile open, and there is my Zoom room link that I'm going to copy. And I'll go back to the right shell, the right shell. And now that I've got my Zoom room highlighted, I'm going to use the link to URL button and paste my URL in there, insert link, and now I've got the URL to my Zoom room. So they'll, they'll know when I'm going to be in there and that's another way for them to connect with us. Okay, and then let's get started is going to be a clear indication to get started. Click on modules and then begin the orientation module. Okay, so we can even say on the left side menu. Okay, so then I don't have to put any links in here. I certainly could if my orientation was ready, which it isn't, but if it was ready, I could highlight that and put a link into the, the module of my orientation so that it would take them to that module. If I want them to be taken to the first page of the module, I could open up pages and find the first page of my module and actually link them to it that way. That's how we did it in Buddies. We linked you inside that first page of the orientation, but this is fine as well. It's clear, they're gonna click on modules and actually I am gonna bold that and begin the orientation module. So those are things that are important and it clearly makes those stand out. Here, I use bold to add emphasis, not to create my own heading. Why is it complaining this? So oh, left side menu and then begin the orientation module. Okay, let me save this. 
Okay, so this is a simple home page that does everything a home page needs to do. It welcomes my students, it tells them what they're going to do next to get started, and there's not a whole lot of extra overwhelming information um, in between that's going to bog them down, confuse them, scare them away, or lead them off track. So start with something simple like this and then consider adding the visual elements. The visual elements can increase the humanizing and the personalization and pique the interest of our students, but a clear and simple design like this can also be totally effective. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. Thanks everybody for watching.